going to discuss the new 3D alignment arrows. Go ahead and select a part in Pads 3D. Click on Import Part Model. And then you have your choice choices of what you want to do. I'm just going to go ahead and do no to override. I notice that we have these new um, graphical arrows and you can turn them on and off depending on what you want to do with the tool. And once again, it'll take a little getting used to on how it works. Um, but you can go ahead and click the rotations. And once again, depending on who creates the step model, the alignment may come in automatic to where you don't have to do any additional manipulation. It's possible you will have to do this. New option is align pin pad center. You click this and it temporarily hides all the data so you can make it easier to select so what you want to do is select the actual bottom portion of the pin model and then highlight which hole that you want it to align with or the 2D line pin and notice that it's now centered. And then the other new option is define seating plane. You would click this and then highlight which part of the model you actually want it to seat to the, the board. And so as you can see this is now properly set. Click OK. If we go underneath manage mappings we can see that we have this model assigned to the LED part and it's still local. Now I'll walk through the standard method. Select the part. Right mouse button edit decal. And then we'll go ahead and import the other part. And once again, depending on how it looks, you may or may not have to use these arrows. But once again, you've got the same ability, turning them on or off. and the model is aligned. With the new version of pads 3D, we've added additional features underneath 3D display controls. With the new release of pads 3D, We've added additional options underneath 3D display controls. First one is we've added the ability to change the board color and its transparency. The other option is to highlight fiducials. And the last option is to turn on and off holes.